Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and from the title as you can see I'm trying to migrate from uh, the Mac to the PC and if you have been following me you guys know that I use a Mac. I shifted from Windows after Vista and uh, mostly after that I've been using the Mac. Yes, I have been using Windows but out of let's say uh, in a month I just use Windows for let's say a couple of hours. But now I plan to move to Windows again. The reason for that is that I have two Macs. One is the iMac and the MacBook Air. My iMac is now pretty old. And I'm just not impressed with the new Macs. And I wanted to uh, buy a powerful computer. But the Mac Pro lineup uh, of Macs is just not that great as of now. Also, if you know that I made a Hackintosh. And the main reason for making the Hackintosh was to uh, do a video editing and uh, I've been using the Final Cut Pro for my video editing on my Hackintosh and it's been working well but again as it's a Hackintosh it's not perfect I would say it works 95% of the time but that 5% of the time that it does not work as I expect just annoys me so I was testing this Windows 8 for quite some time and I found it to be pretty stable and I just said to myself that let's uh, move to Windows because quite a few of you guys also use Windows software and I do get quite a few inquiries about Windows software uh, about video editing and stuff like that but I couldn't answer them because I was not using them so I just said to myself uh, myself for 30 days I'll use the PC and let's see how it goes and I started this experiment about a week back uh, from 15 February or so and the biggest uh, thing that I do on my computers is two things. One is email and the second one that I use my computer mostly is for video editing. For email, I'm still using my, what do you say, the MacBook Air. Uh, but for video editing, this was the important thing. And here uh, I started to test a lot of, what do you say, Windows based uh, software. Because I was used to Final Cut Pro X. Still, I, I'm not really convinced the best alternative. St I'm still in the testing phase, but I'll just talk about my experience regarding the video editing software. Again, this is not a full-fledged uh, experience that I have because it's just four or five days since I'm testing all these softwares. The first one I tested is Pinnacle Studio. That's an Avid clone. And I found it to be really easy uh, after using Final Cut Pro X. Uh, the thing with Avid was that it's not that stable. And uh, I actually spent uh, about eight, nine hours vi uh, editing videos of with this, uh, what do you say, Pinnacle Studio. But uh, out of uh, two times, the video got corrupted and it got messed up. So simply, it's not stable enough for me. And second, I tried the Adobe uh, Premiere Elements. Uh, again, I tried it for some time, but I didn't like the interface and left it over. Again, some of you might say that, uh, Ranjit, why aren't you looking at the Adobe, what do you say, Premium Pro? But the thing is that Adobe Premiere Pro is above $1,000 and simply I don't have a budget like that for a new video editing software. My video editing uh, is really simple and I don't need very high pro end tools. So I'm looking at a, a budget of around $200. Hence, uh, what do you say, the Adobe Premiere Pro is simply out of the budget. Next, I looked at the CyberLink Power Director also. Uh, somebody suggested me, but again, I didn't found it that uh, great for my needs. And the last one that I am currently using, and I think so, this might, uh, this might work for me is the Sony Movie Studio Platinum. This is the one I'm testing right now. And I edited two, three videos with this and it worked. And it's, what do you say, uh, very similar to Sony Vegas Pro. Actually, it's Sony Vegas Pro minus some of the features. So the interface is exactly similar to that. But again, uh, if you are into video editing and use Windows based software, I would like to know which video editing software are you using. Again, I don't want thousand plus dollars tools like that. But if you're using some affordable uh, video editing software, I would like to know. The next thing that I would like to know is that if you're specifically using Windows 8 uh, regarding the antivirus, because I checked some forums and they say Windows 8 has built in uh, Windows Defender. I checked it was enabled and that's good enough. But uh, I went to Avast. I was earlier using Avast when I used to use Windows. But there in the forums, it says that it's not stable enough for Windows 8. So if you guys are already using Windows 8, are you using any antivirus? If so, which one? Or you're just uh, happy with Windows Defender? Again, I am kind of a person who does not like to install a ton of softwares and I only uh, use legal software. So uh, I think so. I might be good enough with Windows Defender, but I just don't know. Just let me know if you're using some Windows 8, uh, what do you say, antivirus solutions, which are the one. And the next important thing is firewalls for Windows 8. Yes, I know it has uh, limited firewall capabilities built in, but I want a robust firewall software. 
So again, I need your suggestion. Which ones are you using with Windows 8 and how is it working? Earlier uh, uh, in 2007 or so when I was using Windows, I remember I used to use Zone Alarm Pro and even Komodo Firewall. But again, I don't know how they work now and if they are compatible with Windows 8. Lastly, I found one thing that's really interesting and I just noticed it's that uh, I've been using Windows 8 now for almost a week and I would say 95% of the time uh, I'm in the desktop interface. I completely forget about the new modern UI and I'm hardly using the modern UI. So if you're using Windows 8 and you're not using it on a tablet or a touch screen, do you mostly uh, stay in the desktop mode or in the modern UI? I would also like to know that. So again, in the next couple of weeks, I'll know how's my experience with the Windows 8. And by then I should be able to list all the softwares that I'm using. So hopefully that will be useful to uh, some of you also. I hope this video was helpful. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech 2 and I hope to see you in my next video.